Is this where we find Noah's resting place? The mausoleum in which the bones of the relics of Noah, or as the Greeks called him, Thefkaliona, are located. The man of good omen, Thefkalos Ionos. So that his name actually, in as uh, described in the Old Testament, is the man of good omen. There's some translating from a Greek article for you. The story of the huge ship, Noah's Ark, that allowed the survival of all kinds of animals around the world sounds impressive, but also quite incredible. Nevertheless, it's the builder, Noah, who is one of the most popular biblical figures. The story from the Old Testament, Genesis, existed for thousands of years and is known to billions of people, but the place of Noah's burial remains unknown. Unfortunately, there's no historical source other than the religious texts that confirm these facts from the biography of Noah. In addition, dozens of researchers, some more, some less professionals, try to prove their own ideas about the possible biography of this legendary man. One of the most reliable research projects was achieved by the team led by Robert D. Ballard. His goal was to examine the biblical flood in a scientific way. The most famous story says that the famous ark, Noah's Ark, during the flood, the deluge, stopped traveling on the slopes of Mount Ararat, which is now in eastern Turkey, but for a long time belonged to Armenia. The significance of this claim is based on a religious issue, as Islam dominates Turkey and Armenia is associated with Christianity. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. In addition, one of Noah's possible sites of his tomb is located in disputed territory from Armenia and Azerbaijan. There is a mausoleum located in Nakchivan on land known as Kona Gala, which means Old Fortress. Naki Chivan is the, uh, an enclosed external enclave of Azerbaijan. Many Armenians traditionally believe that this is their territory, but at present it officially belongs to Azerbaijan. The construction of the mausoleum dates back to around 8th century AD, but it could possibly be a little newer. It's been rebuilt several times, and now the main building contains the remains of the former building. Inside the burial chamber, there is a column, and according to the explanations presented by the guides, the, the travel tourist guides, this is the place where the relics, the um, tomb of Noah was buried. This is where uh, Noah's coffin is. Therefore, it seems that even the locals do not see the mausoleum as the original place of Noah's sacrifice, but merely as a temple for a relic store. But what could they be? Legends are stronger than reality. But besides Nakichevan, there are other places that claim to have the remains of Noah. The Imam Ali Mosques in Mosque in J Najaf, Iraq, is a place of pilgrimage for millions of people every year. The average number of pilgrims is about 8 million. It is a sacred place for Muslims to, who follow the Shiite belief, those who accept that Muhammad uh, had an ancestor, Ali ibn Yabi Talib, and followers of this belief believe that Ali was buried next to the legendary Adam and Noah. There's also a folklore story in the city of Sidzre in Turkey and Karaknu in Lebanon. Tradition from Sidzre claims that it was the original burial place of Noah and his family. However, neither the Iraqi nor the Turkish theory can be confirmed. In the case of Lebanon, it's commonly said that it was the remains that were buried in this place. The story of Noah's tomb is full of mysteries, although religious circles believe that they know the real burial place of the legendary man, the number of possible points raises many doubts about the truth of the story. He can't be buried in all these places. Now aside from stories from the Middle East and other Muslim countries, there is another legendary site that can add even more confusion. The northwestern Spain in Galatia, there is a city called Noia, 
This name comes from the biblical Noah and the coat of arms of the city has the image of the famous Noah's Ark. Although historians speak with one voice that the legend there has no substance, history remains a popular element of local folklore. Now, Noah, Gilgamesh, or Defkalion of the Greeks, as we can see, there are several areas that claim the tomb and the remains of the man who built the ship and was saved from the flood. The story, The Flood of the Ark, known since antiquity, became so popular that it is a world-famous myth known to most cultures long before it was repeated as part of the Old Testament Bible, of the Holy Bible in the book of Genesis. However, most of the stories related to Noah are nothing more than oral stories. The description of the story of Noah's flood, according to various versions, may be inspired by the Epic of Gilgamesh, some believe. The 11th plague of the Epic of Gilgamesh refers to the myth of the flood, which draws most of its evidence from the Epic of Atrachasis. There are many items that are able to provide a comparison of the myth of the flood in Genesis and the Epic of Gilgamesh. At the same time, there are elements and similarities that can argue in favor of an identification with the descriptions given by Greek mythology for the flood of Defkalion, the man of good omen. What's not known to many people is that at the same time, there are many similar versions and descriptions in many ancient civilizations of a great flood, even in the most geographically distant ones, all of which tell a similar story to that of Noah, Gilgamesh, and Defkalion. Of course, there are several differences, such as where the ships ran aground, in the flood of Defkalion, when the rains sent by Zeus stopped, the ship of Defkalion ran aground on the top of Mount Parnassos, or on Mount Etna, or on Mount Athos in Halkidigi, northern Greece, or on Mount Orthus in Thessaly. Genesis reports that this happened on Mount Ararat, Ararat meaning, of course, in Aramaic, a high mountain. Now, it's re reasonable, however, to assume that each people adds to its history, its own place, names, and many of its own elements of this uh, history, and this always on the condition that there was once a flood and a man with his family who survived. To the story was, uh, so the story was circulated and assimilated into the respective culture. Who could this man have been, and what was his family? It's generally claimed that Moses copied or inspired Noah from the Epic of Gilgamesh and the flood of Utnapishtim, dating back to earlier times. Other claims cite Lefkalion and Pyrrhus as examples because there is so much evidence to suggest that there was a common and universal ancient civilization on the planet, the Greeks. So if all this is said and perpetuated about the mausoleum in Nakhi Chavan contains at least a dose of truth as to its content, could they support the hypothesis that there are not they are not the relics of Noah nor of Gilgamesh but of Lefkalion of the Greeks? A big question mark that will probably never find the right answer. This is by a Greek article I've translated for you. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.